Howdy ho, Winslow. We are here with a new show. Absolutely a new show alert. New show alert. Um, <laughs> that's what I'm gonna do for now on. I'm gonna drop my gold mic down to the heavens, from the heavens, and we're gonna start screaming, new show alert. This show is called Baby Reindeer. Now, I'm absolutely, 100%, going to be dropping this on both my platforms for the first episode alone. Absolutely. Now, somebody is saying, uh, typing ferociously down in the comment section, Andres, another new show? And then you're going to be getting into May. You're going to be bringing back season two of the interv interview with the vampire. Absolutely. You're getting back into Bridgerton. Okay. And then you're getting into Vale with um, the lady from The Handmaid's Tale. You just brought Buffy the Vampire Slayer on your, on your platform. And now you're doing Baby Reindeer. And to that... To the person who's typing ferociously down below. Absolutely. Um, and I do have so many other shows that is <laughs> that I'm wrapping up. But the reason why I'm getting into the show, because this show kept coming up, coming up, coming up, coming up, and I'm hearing nothing but positive things. And it goes with my other show. It goes with the theme, not my other show, like I have a show. It goes with my channel, Andres Reacts. So yes, it's dropping on both platforms, Andres Reacts and Andres Array, but it's going to remain for the remaining of the seven episode on Andres Reacts. Now, to those that have subscribed um, to this platform, you guys know I'm doing 13 Reasons Why. I have True Detective and Poker Face, as well as a few Aaron Hernandez, etc. So this is me resetting, okay? So I do Killing Eve on Andres Reacts. This is for people on Andres. I'm talking to everybody, okay? Everybody! I do um, Killing Eve. That's my main show that I watch on my other, on Andres Reacts. Now, I was picking up all these other shows, but the shows, the views are just not viewing. The likes aren't liking, the comments aren't commenting, right? So you guys know, I'm one of those reactors, honey, I shrunk the kids, that if people aren't here, it's like, yeah, I could continue watch it, but I have so many shows that if you're not into, if the, the view, the people aren't into it, then I just will drop it. That's just how I am. Um, and I believe Poker Face is one of those shows. And True Detective, I'm still debating on because it, um, not that people aren't viewing it, it's just not hitting with me. I'm very confused by the show for me. Um, so I'm debating. I might continue on for the rest of the season. Um, and it's going to be one of those shows. I think True Detective for the rest of the season of season one, it's going to be like a Black Mirror that is on Andre, on my main channel. And I love Black Mirror, but I drop Black Mirror because every episode is kind of like it's a different thing. So I drop Black Mirror, you know, with in between. So that's what I'm going to do. But I think that I'm going to be dropping Poker Face um, on Andre's Reacts, right? And um, once I'm done with the Aaron Hernet, which is, I just need to edit it. I'm just lazy. Um, but once I edit that and I push that out, then I'm going to focus on Baby Reindeer and Killing Eve as my two main shows on Andres Reacts. If the people are screaming for me to get back onto Poker Face, um, then we'll do that. But from the last time I checked, 34 people saw that reaction. Um, absolutely 34 people. Hair flip. Um, <laughs> no, and this is not going to shame those that did view it. Thank you so much for viewing it. It just takes a lot of time to watch the shows and edit it. And it's just, you know, the vast majority are like, we don't want to see that. So it is what it is, right? Um, so right now, the point of me saying this is I'm resetting my, my tracks. I'm focusing on Baby Reindeer as well as Killing Eve. What about 13 Reasons Why? I think that uh, 13 Reasons Why, I believe that people were still showing up for that, right? So you'll see that as well. So I'll be doing those three shows. Baby Reindeer is gonna be over real soon. It's, it's a half an hour episode, each episode, and it's only seven episodes. So we're going to get into this. Um, so I'm just letting you know where my mindset is as I still focus on my main channel, okay? I just talked for four minutes. <laughs> Let's get into the show, y'all. Do I know anything about this show? 
Absolutely not. The story follows the writer and performer Richard Gobbs, I believe, or Gobbs, um, warped relationship with his female stalker and the impact it has on him as he ultimately forced to face a deep, dark, buried trauma. So we're going to get into this show. I hear it's amazing. Everybody's been talking about it, at least in my atmosphere. So I want to bring the show to light and hopefully you guys are going to enjoy it. So, you wanna see this in a full reaction, the links to that is down below on my Patreon as well as my YouTube channel membership. Please click those links, y'all. Also, if you want to continue to watch this, it's dropping on both of my platforms, but it's staying on Andres React. So please go over there and subscribe to that um, channel. Hit the notification bell on both these channels so you know when I drop all of my reactions. Now, without further ado, oh, let's jump into Baby Reindeer and find out exactly why I decided to do that voice to this show. Can I help you? Uh, report something? How does it work? What would you like to report? I'm getting stalked. Oh? Have you had a sexual relationship with this woman? No. She sends me emails, like, 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 all the time. Are you threatening towards her? I just had an egg. No, I wouldn't say that's particularly threatening. How long has it been going on for? Six months, maybe. Six months? This is a true story. It's a patronizing, arrogant feeling, feeling sorry for someone you've only just laid eyes on. Five her, please, mate. She looks kind of scary. Can I get you something? No, thanks. Why are you, you here? Sure? You have to buy something. Can't afford something. Right, not even a cup of tea. How about I give you a cup of tea on the house? Oh, Lord. Trained in criminal law. Moved to England, retrained, opened up my own practice. When you're the go-to for the biggest political minds in the game, you've earned a brag or two. <laughs> David Cameron, Nick Clegg, Alex Hammond. But you didn't hear that from me. Uh -huh. You must have amazing dinner parties. <laughs> All of this is true. Then why can't you afford a cup of tea? Moved to London to fulfill my lifelong dream of becoming a comedian. Working a dead-end job and living rent-free with my ex-girlfriend's mother in a massive house miles out of town. As though my brand of wacky bullshit comedy was exactly what this world-leading city was missing. It's a mink hat. But instead of actual mink, it's a, it's a mink stable to a hat. But that's the thing with London. It's like waking up one day to find yourself a background artist in a cast of millions. You notice them noticing you. When I said Each time with new makeup, new hairstyles, like a kid playing dress up. Gotta go. But then would stick around for the entire shift. A busy day today. AGM, shareholder meets. Always ordered the same drink every time, Mom. Diet Coke, plenty ice. And I always gave it to her on house. Of people in her life without ever explaining who they were. I was talking to Steve earlier. I was chatting to Joe. Would sit there talking about me. Got really manly hand. Everything about her intrigued me. Her endless confidence, her weird turn of phrase. My birthday's coming up. Want to do something special? Who says I want to run away? You're already doing it. Woke up a little gravy this morning. Not sure what's come over me. And I would start to reimagine her past. The school balls that no one took her to. Nights lost on social media perusing the lives of the rich and famous. Started paying her compliments here and there. Oh! Your birthday's coming up. Your 21st, is it? A silver tongue on you, you do, devil boy. Wouldn't mind teaching you where to put it. Sure, I'll come picnic with you. <laughs> oh, my. Give me your number. We can arrange. Oh, God. Name the time and the place and I'll get you there. I'll be the one sitting next to the gorgeous brunette. Oh, you mean me? <laughs> I began to love her laugh, becoming a joke around the bar. Oi, Donny. How are you going to introduce us to your girlfriend? When are you two going to shag? Ah. Oh. Don't believe in sex before marriage. Ask her! Ask her! Come on, guys! Ask her! Half of everything makes you rich, see? Just bought a penthouse. <laughs> Furnished. Hanger curtains. Something about it sounded vaguely sexual. I'll hang your curtains! <laughs> <laughs> wanted her to laugh. I wanted her to share in the joke, but she just didn't. That she'd taken it seriously. Oh, damn! Yeah, I can come. Her address, a random series of numbers and letters, unfiltered, unapologetically raw, as an iPhone, even though she didn't when I saw her texting at the bar. A wee willy hamper. <laughs> it's got jam and champagne too, if that's your tipple. 
I don't drink myself. It's been quite a lot here. Well, it's a special birthday this year. My 43rd, no less. Look, Martha, I think maybe this isn't such a great idea. What? No picnic fun times? Picnics, that's... That's kind of what lovers do, you know? The friends do. Oh, uh, uh, not that. I don't know, a coffee or something? Coffee's good. She's so weird. Do you know what you're having? Well, I want the scotch broth. I don't see it on the me- Oh, very good. <laughs> Is it on the menu? Uh, no, I'm afraid not. You'll find it in the specials, though. Wow, that is some laugh. Yeah, I get that all the time. Well, Chuckles Buckles, do you have a volume dial? Can I turn you down a bit? You'd have to turn me on first. Are you serious about me? I can take it. Be a shame, though. Obviously, what the... with the curtains. Yes, I'm... I'm... I'm serious about you. <gasps> what? Friends. <laughs> with benefits. Just friends. I'll just have a tap water. Sure. Uh, you're not having anything? I can't afford it. I'll get it. And a chocolate brownie and uh, a coffee. Sure, what kind of coffee? Decaf. Decaf. Perfect, I've got those for you now. Oh my God. How did you get my email? Oh, off your website. Uh -huh. Is you a comedian? Sort of. Toss me a comedy videos online. I thought they were shite. Well, I've moved on a bit now. Offensive. And you promise me you won't tell anyone at the pub about those online videos? You should be proud. You're chasing your dreams. I spent my life dreaming of becoming a comedian. I, I like, I used to think my dreams would lead to happiness, but. Oops. Somebody hurt you. You're like a warrior with a chink in the armor. Was that a woman? A heartbreak? I can see. You're bleeding. Who was it? Martha, can you let go of my hand now, please? Please. Names. Martha, please let go. Stop. Here. Um, yeah, we're fine. What way are you walking? Uh, this way. I'm this way. Quit your job and run the F away. Seeing her madness play out like that left me with this sense of unease. Who was this woman? And what did she see in me? Let's see where she lives, where she's going. I sometimes question what would have happened had I not followed her. Some part of me wanted to get caught. Right. Maybe some part of me wanted to see where all my tape be. Right, She's gonna be right there. Turn this down. Oh, sound the gig. Now, I know what you're thinking. Venus Williams has let herself go. Did the wrong person. Sorry, it's new material. I'll just, I'll just grab my notebook out and I'll, I'll do it again. Okay, cool. Uh, that didn't work. Let's move on. Um, uh, one laugh. Brilliant. If you could move around the room, that'd be great. <laughs> Martha. Hello, Martha. Is your spaceship parked outside? <laughs> Want to go for a ride back to my home planet? Planet where people find me funnier than they should. I'm so. Say your spaceship, you mean? A Fiat Punto. <laughs> sing, you know. Oh, well, people haven't come here for singing, so. Oh, let us sing. Okay, fine, sod it. Go on then. Have the time to spend an evening with me. Nancy Sinatra, what the hell are you doing here? <laughs> Alright, I would let you sing some more, but I can't handle you upstaging me. A round of applause for Martha, everyone. And then I go and spoil it all by saying something stupid like Hitler was misunderstood. They're already starting to laugh. <laughs> yeah, gives great head. Oh no, 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 no. no. How'd you do that? What? Just appear, you're like ninja cat. All the props and the gadgets and stuff. <laughs> so funny, reindeer. Don't thank me. Thank yourself. Thank your bones. I shouldn't have followed you, I was just... Oh, no. Don't be silly. I'll cook you my special dish. Beef curtains. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Well, thanks for the hug. <sighs> had a superpower, what would it be? Be invisible, uh, get the hell out of here. Worried people think bad of you or something? No. Why they don't think about me at all? I want to unzip people and climb inside them. Humans had a chin zip. And it would open all the way to their bellies. I'd wear you like a onesie. <laughs> oh my god. Now and again, when nobody's looking, I'll unzip my chin and pop some biscuits inside for you. Oh my god. 
the tongue on you and have a drink or two. Okay. For the old by saying something stupid like Hitler was misunderstood. You. Oh my god, stupid, stupid fucking moron gob! Make you feeling you might be the death of me. Bitch, bye. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you're dead. She, oh my god, she added him as a friend. Ranch or I sat there for hours taking it all in, piecing together her whole timeline. This other time she attacked his mother in the street, a four and a half year prison sentence. I had a convicted stalker stalking me. I had a convicted stalker. Well, well, okay, so this guy is as crazy as that lady. Um, I guess crazy is like the theme of today. Um, he had so many chances to get rid of this Martha lady. As soon as she comes down and she comes to my bar and she's not ordering anything and she's not putting money in my pockets, you need to go. You cannot loiter here. You cannot order Pepsi at a bar. Go to a diner. You are not going to waste my time and just sit over here with your flower outfits and your shaggy hair. Um, never judge a book by its cover, but at this time, judge it. Judge it and throw it away. Um, so Martha came in. What, by the way, I just have to say, great acting on every part well the two main characters that we're focusing on their acting is top tier this is saying based on a play baby Rain reindeer by Richard God is it also a true I think I I'm not asking that question because I know the answer to it when I say is this actually a true story the events of this show is true but the story is I guess maybe he played with it a little bit but this did happen to this person's life something very similar so I read um I don't understand, like, okay, at first I was like, okay, I would do that, like, I felt bad for her, and she said she didn't have any money, I would offer a tea or, or a Pepsi if I'm a bartender, right? But if you keep coming back and you're not paying at this point, I would actually tell you, you can't come back here. Like, there would be no, th th this would not be prolonged. The reason why he's accepted her at the end, the confirmation of being friends on the face to the book, is because she actually helped him finally win his event in the comedy show. He wants to be a comedian and he feels like if he uses this lady so he could go off of her laughter and all her crazy the antics that he will become bigger in his comedy life which is actually really sad he's a user he's a user and he's using somebody who is obviously clearly has mental health issues um and it seems like by the ending of this it might backfire on him because we did see in the beginning of this episode that he went six months dealing with this type of situation um, and he's actually leading her on. Like, there's a lot of things that he's doing wrong that is going to prob probably be the reason why whatever is going to happen to him happens. The reason why he was stalked for six months is because he kept playing around with this person. You never play around with people who you know is not there. Then you follow them and saw how dirty their inside of their house was and they sitting down there emailing you and misspelling words. I never trust anybody in the year 2024 that does not use spell check. Like you do not use spell check and you're messing words up and it seems like it's deliberately but I actually believe it's not. I don't trust you and I will put you in jail. Um, so make sure your spell check is on. Regardless, I really did like this episode. It was very fascinating and I cannot wait to continue it on my channel Andres React. So please, if you are on my main channel, Heidi Ho Winslow, go over there and subscribe to my other channel and follow me on this journey on baby reindeer i'm very excited to be continue on this journey as i said it's only 29 minutes this episode alone um so it should be easy for me to follow along with my killing eve and then going to continue on to the 13 reasons why as long as you guys are there what's happening to true detective um and poker face please tune in on to my intro and you will know any more comments or questions concerns please comment down below please like the video share the video i will see you all next time with more 
reactions. Bloop. Or 